Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, big boy sports has returned to talk college football. Every Tuesday, you will see some form of college football from me going all the way up to the national championship, at least the CFP's national championship anyway, on January 8th. We'll be here all season long, except for like one week in like the middle of December. Uh, I'll replace that week with something else. It's basically, you know, during December's bowl season, so, you know, kind of got to split that up. But today, we are here to talk week zero. Yeah, that's right, week zero. Last week, I went over um, my preseason predictions, my Heisman winner, the preseason AP Top 25, you know, just a lot of things that need to be, you know, a lot of questions that may get answers over the season regarding some of these teams, you know, that are very highly rated by college football experts and pundits and talking heads alike. I am different from those talking heads. I'm my own, I'm my own talking head, you know. So when you see this, it uh, I'm recording this on a Monday. So when you see this, it'll be like Tuesday at like 12.15 or something like that, 11.15 a.m. Central Time, so just so you know, recording this in advance today. So, week zero's Saturday slate, we have not only the FBS, we have FCS action. Um, let's start at the top, the game that starts us off in Dublin, Ireland. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Navy Midshipmen going to kick us off on NBC. Um, we have a couple of CBS Sports Network games between... Wait a minute. UTEP and Jacksonville State? Wait a minute. Hold up. The CUSA is different. Wait a minute. Something's not right here. And then there's also Florida International, Louisiana Tech. So, yeah, the, the CUSA is kind of different, you know? Kind of kind of different. New Mexico State's also playing UMass in a primetime game on ESPN. So something, something's, something's not right here. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Ohio, San Diego State, probably the best game, quote-unquote, of this slate as far as, like, even matchups go. Hawaii, Vanderbilt, that's the second leg of a matchup that started last year on Week 0. You know, San Jose State will take on USC on the dying Pac-12 network. And then the FCS has a trio of games. Fordham Albany is on Flow Sports, so, you know. Fuck flow sports. Um, but the FCS kickoff features North Alabama and ranked Mercer um, down in the Crampton Bowl in Montgomery, Alabama. And in the MEAC SWAC Challenge, the defending SWAC champions, who did not win the Celebration Bowl last year, of course, Jackson State Tigers, taking on South Carolina State Bulldogs. So, and guess where that game's played? That game is that plays that game is in Atlanta, but it's not only in Atlanta, it's on ABC, baby. It's on ABC. So we got we got some goodies. We got some goodies out of this slate. It's not just your typical run of the mill type slate as far as college football goes for week number zero. Let me move myself over here. Um, there's a lot of things to watch. Again, um Navy Notre Dame is going to be the game that kicks us all off. Ryan Newberry is now the head coach. Um, they've added some new wrinkles to their option offense. Um, one thing that you're going to see from all the academies, maybe except Air Force, but Navy, Army, Kennesaw State, who also ran the flex phone spread option, you know, you know, they are going to see some changes, you know, running from under center. So they're not going to be running under center as much. Navy definitely won't be. Army is like, is like 95% certain just moving to the shotgun altogether, I think. Um, but Navy's still going to be under center a little bit. Army's still going to be a little bit under center too, but they emphasize, I read articles, they've emphasized that they're moving towards the shotgun option game, similar to how Florida, Ohio State, Urban Myers, Utah teams, Oregon, you know, under Chip Kelly, Rich Rod. I mean, we'll talk about Rich Rod in a moment here as far as CUSA goes. But yeah, Navy's new wrinkles, how that helped them out against Notre Dame, a team that they played so many times except for 2020, um, almost pretty much every year consecutively 
for like the past 50 years. Notre Dame, what do they want to emphasize? And I asked this question last week. What do they want to emphasize? Sam Hartman, throw away the ball all over the place. What a bevy of running backs that can help him out. We'll see what they emphasize in this game in Ireland. They'll kick us off. The CUSA, oh boy, there are coaches of plenty, coaching matchups of plenty in this you know, in, in, in this conference, you have Rich Rod at Jacksonville State. You have Stockstill still at Middle Tennessee. Jerry Kill at New Mexico State. Liberty has Jamie Chadwell, the former Coastal Carolina coach. I mean, there are matchups aplenty. Two conference games are going to open up the year. The New Mexico State UMass game is going to be nationally televised on cable on ESPN. These coaching battles are going to be crazy. There's Tuesday night games and Wednesday night games in October for Conference USA this year. That's because ESPN wanted a piece of that pie. They wanted, a, they wanted a little bit more inventory to televise on their networks, and they got that along with CBS Sports Network, of course. So the CUSA, it's going to be different. Kennesaw State will join up next season, you know. Um, Caleb Williams... This man is looking to repeat as the Heisman, though. Again, I had a different Pac-12 player winning the Heisman this year in my preseason predictions, and that is the man, Michael Phoenix Jr. Um, Caleb Williams is very dynamic. I, I really think he's a really good quarterback. You know, sometimes he does a little bit too much, trying to you know do too much, but overall, just a really, really good quarterback. Really, really fun guy to watch. And I got to tell you. I don't think this game lasts too long. You see, the, you saw the spread. Uh, if, if you've seen the spread for that game between San Jose State and USC yet, it's at 30 right now. So USC should comfortably win. I think Kayla Williams might play like a half, and that'll do it, you know. So, yeah, that'll be a great, you know, you know that'll be a great, you know, opener for Kayla Williams. I know the first couple games USC plays are going to be on the Pac-12 network anyway, but it is what it is. And then, honestly, you know, again, Ohio San Diego State is the game of the week. Again, like again, this is the most even matchup. Like this point spread is very small. No Hawaii test, unfortunately, in this year's week zero. That is kind of unfortunate. But again, last year Hawaii Vanderbilt was a blowout. Hopefully, that game does not turn into a blowout this year. And in the FCS, we have the FCS kickoff. Devon Harper, Ty James, a dynamic receiving core from Mercer. Um, Mercer projected to be, what, third in the SOCON? Not bad at all. And SOCON, you know, is a lot stronger this year. And, and the FCS overall has gotten a hell of a lot weaker. Um, with, you know, they, they, they got weaker, you know, over the years. But now this is really, really showing, you know, these past couple seasons with the realignment and stuff like that, how weak the FCS has gotten. I mean, again, North Dakota State has been, you know, champions for, you know, what, nine of the last 12 seasons or something like that. Um, the last couple of years, they haven't been able to take the title as, again, an emerging dynasty out in South Dakota State, out in Brookings. Uh, might be the next team in line to start a dynasty a la Appalachian State, a la Georgia Southern, Marshall, you know, teams of that stature, Youngstown State, you know. And yes, yes, again, is also a dynasty-based, you know, subdivision. It's not, it's not apples and oranges here. It's not apples and oranges. It's apples and apples. It's apples and apples, oranges and oranges. It's basically the same thing every year. Like nobody wants to say that, but it's basically the same thing every year. And again, I don't know how the Miak Spec Challenge is in prime time on ABC, but I am here for it. You have no Dion, you have no Shadur Sanders, you have a lot of guys that just left. Travis Hunter left. All those guys went to Colorado. A lot of guys went to Colorado. Jackson State is going to be interesting to watch this year, um, especially the first couple games because. This one is going to see, this one's going to tell, you know, what in the world T.C. Taylor is going to do for this Tigers team because, again, the, the road 
for the Tigers does not get any easier after South Carolina State. They have Florida A&M in the Orange Blossom Classic out in, out in Miami on a Sunday next week, or rather the week after this. Um, and while South Carolina State, they, I don't think they can win the, win the MEAC, they might. Um, they have a really good defense. You know, Patrick Godbolt, Aaron Smith, really good guys, all MEAC first team, I think. Um, yeah, it, it's really the MEAC is – North Carolina Central's to lose unless otherwise the Celebration Bowl champs from last year. You know, and I, I, I don't know. The SWAC, the MEAC is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, I didn't do like conference predictions or anything like that. I kind of did, kind of went pretty basic with my predictions, but I think, I think we're going to see some really quality playoff teams in the FCS this year. We're going to see a lot more balance in regards to conferences. Of course, you're going to see CAA, the Coastal Athletic Association. Now, not not the Colonial, the Coastal Athletic Association got to 16 with Bryant. And again, conference realignment has messed things up, a lot of things up to where conferences are getting way too big for my liking. And things are just kind of thrown off to where it's like, what, what is going on at this point? So um, again, week zero, you know, not the greatest slate in the world, but we can still have fun with this. You know, if you're on, you know, whatever fantasy betting app, like I am, I'm on Underdog. Some people are on Prize Fix. Some people are on others, like Fliff, whatever. Um, it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun season. And I cannot wait to start it off with you all. And I will see you all next Tuesday to talk more college football. We'll talk week one 